Tu me fais du bien, Juliette. Um, I understand that it's based on some real life experiences that you had. Could you talk a little bit about how those real life experiences, um, you know, how you drew on those to make this film? Donc on s'est intéressé, en fait on s'est inspiré. C'est une histoire d'amour et comment un couple, parce qu'ils sont mis dans des circonstances difficiles, ça relève une certaine énergie que ils ne savaient pas qu'ils avaient, et que ce serait une expérience d'apprentissage pour eux et une grande expérience. Mais c'était un moyen d'explorer une nouvelle génération, une nouvelle forme de couple, vous savez. C'était une prémisse qui a permis d'aller explorer les choses qui les intéressent. Well, uh, based on what you just said then, uh, interesting, um, you really took your own experiences and allowed that to be the groundwork for this film. You, weren't, you didn't have to adhere to the actual experience. No, because... Oh, yes, you know, this is not a factual recounting of their story. Uh, yes, the basis is the disease of their son, and the, but then the rest of the film is, you know, is a film. So the, there wasn't the intimidation that you, uh, you asked about. They wanted to make a fiction film, but in theirs, it just seemed so close and so, you know, so much like their life. But in fact, you know, there there is a distance there, and they are protected by the fictional layer in their film. Protected by the fiction, I like that. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I, I wanted to ask, um, perhaps to Valerie, about, um, you know, obviously it's a very heavy film, but you injected a lot of lightness, a lot of fun into the film, I think with music, with color. Could you talk as a director sort of how, about orchestrating that? So yeah, the subject matter is hard and what the characters have to go through is difficult, but then they're very aware of the need for the film to have oxygen. So all of those elements, you know, music and humor, were all at the service of, you know, letting the film breathe and, and, and have a balance between the dark and the lightness. And then finally, I just wanted to ask about um, the child actor in the film and sort of casting that role, because it seems to be extremely pivotal to making the film. I don't know that you could make the film without the right actor, young actor in that role. Could you talk about casting and finding the right child. Because at first they thought, oh, well, we'll just uh, use a, a child from one of our friends. So then they chose the more professional route, which is to actually have casting sessions. So the, the boy that you see in the film, she immediately loved. It. So it, it ended up being a wonderful experience because the, just the nature of the child was very accessible and very attached to the crew. And they were very, very small crew, only eight people. Um, but he was always around, and there was never a, in, any of the ceremony of on a set with quiet on the set and role and action and all that because of how they shot the film and in the hosp actual hospitals that were still functioning. So they kind of stuck to his rhythm, so when he was taking a nap, they would shoot something else, and when he'd wake up, and they'd, they'd go and find him and, 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 and work with him in the scenes. But the scenes were not like acting, they were really, they, they stuck to the reality of what he was doing and, and it just kind of merged into the film. He almost directed you, in a sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last thing, I want to say there's something that you mentioned that I thought was really great was that the film is a celebration of life mm. as opposed to a film about death. But nous, on a voulu, uh, Their intention was to make a film about ideals about two people who, who and go through an experience together and that changes them. And even if life serves us something that we were subjected to, we're still the masters of our life because we can decide how we go through an experience.